Hello, everybody, and thanks for checking out this presentation on the Masters in Environmental Engineering and Project Management at the School of Civil Engineering here at the University of Leeds. My name is Dr. Marco Felipe King, and I'm a lecturer in building physics here at the School of Civil Engineering, and as well as program lead for the EEPN Masters. I'm super delighted that you have come to check out this video and presumably you're considering studying with us. So what I'm going to do over the next few minutes is tell you about a little bit about the environmental engineering pro and project management in general masters and give you an overview of our program and how we teach as well as fill you in what type of careers our previous graduates have had in the past. So I guess one of the questions you might have is, well, what is environmental engineering and what is project management? Well, if you come from an earth science background, you, you probably have a quite good grasp about that. Uh, but those who are coming from, say, physics, maths or computing, it's probably worth saying just a few words to, to, to think about. So it's essentially how do we maintain our environment through the use of core environmental engineering principles and 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 you see, these include key issues in wastewater resources, water resources, solid waste and controlling emissions. So you'll be trained in project management, professional skill sets, and you can contribute to providing environmentally sound solutions and economically sustainable systems. So why do we see well, why it leads? Well, now, the, EEPO, EE, the EEPM programme is hosted here at the School of Civil Engineering, and it is a world leader in the field of environmental engineering and building physics. And we consistently rank top five within the UK for civil engineering. And we have a, a world excellent research and internationally excellent research background, which means that this research feeds directly into our teaching practices it's a really big school, but the question perhaps is, well, what's it like to be at Leeds? Now, I did my master's here and then went on to do my PhD in 2008. And you might not realize it, but I've been away from home for about 15 years and my birth country is Spain. So I've been away for 15 years and I'm really proud to say that Leeds is now my home. It's a good place. I feel really happy here. Now, let's talk a little bit about specifically our Environmental Engineering and Project Management, MSc. So what do we do? What's the syllabus? What's the course structure? Now, this course will provide you with some in-depth knowledge of how to deliver environmental engineering solutions, both medium and low and high income settings across urban as well as rural contexts and settings. So first of all, your syllabus is designed to give you a very general toolkit regardless of your future career ambitions and your background. And it will, will use in and apply engineering principles and methods in any setting you wish. So we will take you through eight short courses over two semesters, culminating in a research dissertation for a total of 180 credits. So the first module you will do is environmental microbiology, which includes laboratory demonstrations as well as field trips to collect microbiological samples. And then we cover indoor and urban air quality, which is which is my module. And, and this is where we evaluate, well, what is good air quality? And much of the teaching involves group discussions as well as plenty of chance for in-classroom feedback for preparing for your assessment. And then you'll go on to do introduction to project management and asset management. And this is based on real life case studies. So you'll be able to apply tools and techniques in, in the physical asset management world to develop strategic asset, man asset management plans. And then just before Christmas, you do advanced wastewater management, which combines seminars as well as roundtable discussions and with industry experts and PhD students and virtual reality workings of wastewater treatment plans. So then in, in semester two, you will start with solid waste management and resource recovery with case studies and, and how to employ modern quantitative methods to evaluating valuing waste, essentially. And then waste resource management will help you design robust supplies in low and middle resource settings, particularly where access to supply of water is really scarce and difficult. And this course gives guidelines of how to operate systems 
but also allows you to build and reflect on the effects of social, political, as well as institutional contexts. And then finally, we do groundwater pollution contaminated land, which is involving a university farm visit where you will be able to look at the effects of contaminated land on crop growth and then thinking about antimicrobial resistance. And finally, you will do a, a master's independent research project, which is worth 60 credits. Some of you might even be working with me. And, and, and essentially that enables you to, to tailor the project to your interests and expertise, as well as often involving external partners. And some people do field work. And basically it shows your individual take on, on environmental engineering subject area. And, and it's really a centerpiece for this program. So the question is, well, who is this course for? Well, the course is primarily for people wanting to specialize and upskill to tackle fundamental global challenges in environmental engineering and gain industry standards as well as quantitative techniques. We have a range of learners from professionals who seek to upskill their knowledge and move back to their previous careers and recent graduates who, who want to So who is this course for, you might be wondering? Well, primarily it's for people wanting to specialize and upskill to tackle fundamental environmental engineering challenges, gaining industry standard techniques. And we, we do have a variety of learners, those who have professional backgrounds and wanted to go back to their jobs with new, new learned skills, those recent graduates who are seeking to, to, to increase their quantitative and savvy quantitative skills, as well as having a very diverse background. We don't just have engineers, we also have many people from chemistry, from physics, and from geography for argument's sake. And essentially it's for people who want to deliver an impact in their future careers and, and create a difference. So the question is, well, where are our current graduates now? So one of the most powerful benefits of being an EPM graduate is that they, they're uniquely well placed and well well developed network of industrial contacts that you can access here. Uh, so for example, Zeyu in 2020 did his master's dissertation in indoor air quality modeling. It's particular in looking at the risk of SARS-2 transmission in quarantine hotels. And then he went on to do, be a, a research assistant with us within the group and a very valued member. And there he met with industrial partners as well as departments within the Ministry of Defence here in the UK, and then went on to be a water quality officer at the Environmental Agency here in Warrington. Xiao Shen, for example, is, is graduating this year, in fact, and she did her dissertation on the effects of ventilation to remove carbon dioxide and remove indoor air pollutants such as pollen. And she's now doing a PhD between myself and the School of Mathematics to look at coupling population level risk models with human behavior, the effects of, of being very, very, very different at the microscopic level. So many other, many other researchers and many other graduates with us have gone on to be, be working as graduates at environmental consultancy companies such as Veolia or engineering consultancy companies such as Arup. And others even continue to work within the University of Leeds, continue to, to get further training, for example, at the WaterWiser Centre. So I just wanted to say thank you very much for engaging with us. And if you have any questions, please do get in touch, send me an email. Or if you have specific questions about admissions, you can get in contact with them directly and they ha we have a dedicated team. So just to wrap up, I wish you every success in your future careers, regardless of which degree you, you choose. And I hope to, to see you soon. Thanks very much and goodbye.